This is episode 1717. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and look at you. If you have been following this week's seven part series on romantic love, I congratulate you. Here you are getting ready to give yourself a little more peace, energy, and clarity in the final episode of this series. All about romantic love. Now you may just be joining us and that is fine because in today's meditation, you will have the chance to do a meditation technique that's in incredibly valuable. And that is the process of reflection. There have been saints and sages throughout millennia who have lived their life by this process of reflection. At the end of your day, If you could do this reflection technique I'll share with you, you will be a better person. One of those saints and sages is none other than the current Dalai Lama who reviews his day in reverse, appreciating what happened during the day and also noticing what was difficult, where he felt he could have improved. Doing this one technique at the end of your day could improve your life by leaps and bounds. Well, in today's meditation, you will be guided as you review your week, the week you've just experienced. Now I'm recording this for a Saturday's meditation, so this gives you a nice chance to lay the past week to rest so that you can enjoy your weekend and get ready for a brand new upcoming week. So when you do this process of reflection, If you could do two things, it will benefit you tremendously. The first thing is if you go through your week or your day and you think about what was a little bit difficult for you. Where did you struggle? What mistakes did you make? What valuable lessons did you learn? And What triggered those difficult moments? That's the first thing. Go through what was difficult and what triggered it. And maybe what you did about it and what you wish you would have done differently. And then the second thing is to go back over your day, in this case your whole week, and think about what you were really grateful for. Maybe you consider some things big wins and think about that and feel within yourself joy and pride for all you are, for the events of the past week. And that is it. Again, if you could do this daily, this could become a powerful technique you do to gain vital awareness so that you can become a better human being. So that is your meditation technique today as we close out this series on love. And we followed along with the wisdom of C.S. Lewis and his book, The Four Loves. And we focused on his 
section on the eros or romantic love. So I want to share a final quote from this section of his book. And he says that the event of falling in love is of such a nature that we are right to reject as intolerable the idea that it should be transitory. In one high bound, it has overleaped the massive wall of our selfhood. It has made appetite itself altruistic, tossed personal happiness aside as a triviality, and planted the interests of another in the center of our being. Spontaneously and without effort, we have fulfilled the law towards one person by loving our neighbor as ourselves. It is an image of foretaste of what we must become to all if love himself rules in us without a rival. When we discover afresh that romance is more deeply set than the drivel served up by our culture, then we will more rightly hold our spouse or our loved one in the model of unconditional love. So, as you settle yourself down and get ready to apply the reflection meditation technique, know that, as always, you can find the full half-hour guided meditations, all more than 1,700 of them, on my Sipinome meditation app. That's for you if you want to go a little more deeply into a series. You receive a weekly journal and slow down guide that are customized for that week's theme. So these are valuable resources as you build awareness to become that best part of who you are. Again, it is the Sipinome meditation app, and you can try it for two weeks, free access to the full app. So you can head on over there for deeper meditations. And as you close your eyes and begin to relax your mind and your body, Begin to inhale and exhale through your nose, allowing your breath to become soft. Now think back over your week. Think about what uplifted you And what was difficult about the week? Maybe some things you regretted saying or doing. And maybe some things that triggered you to have a negative reaction. Think about why you were triggered in the first place. And when you're finished reflecting. Sit in stillness, allowing yourself simply to be. You are so worth slowing down for.